Alrighty, folks. What do we got going on tonight? Well, this is kind of an unboxing, but not really an unboxing. Got another car. Because I'm up here in Indiana, and I got the DBX10, which is a piece of crap. So, decided I'd get something else. So, I searched around on the almighty Facebook marketplace. And we got us a... What do we get? We got... Oh, I'm going to have to back up here, man. That thing's huge. That's the Arma Big Rock. And there it sits. In all of its glory. Now, this thing, like I said, was used. Uh, I paid about 180 bucks for it. Brand new. They're like 340 So, what I did is, first thing is, you know, check it out. Made sure that I actually ran. Uh, the guy's batteries were crap, but it did run for a little bit. So, I uh, brought it back here. Kind of cleaned it up. Um... It looked a lot worse than what it does now, so. And I do have some, uh, I got a battery for the uh, rocket over there, which I can use. I'm just waiting for my adapters to show up tomorrow. And I could also use this little 3300 milliamp, which would probably run about uh, 10 minutes in this thing. So what I have done so far is, uh, it is the matte black. So I have kind of sanded it where they have you know, scrape it across the top, and I'm going to repaint the body. The body's actually in pretty good shape. It's not cracked or messed up or anything, so it looks pretty good. Uh, the tires are in good shape. I did take the uh, rear motor out here, cleaned that all up, greased underneath it. Um, did all that stuff. So, let's see here. Sorry for the distraction. Um, but like I said, you know, I cleaned it up and yeah it's still a little bit dirty it's kind of hard to clean a lot of this stuff up on here but uh all in all it's in pretty decent shape uh for the price like i said it was about 180 bucks and uh it does have the controller and like i said it does work so what my plan is uh i'm gonna finish sanding this top this back here and the you know the front i'm gonna tape off the windows get all this stuff taped off uh tape off the front here and then i'm gonna reshoot it uh with some flat and then do a matte clear on it so we're gonna see how that turns out and i am in the process of 3d printing uh found some on thingiverse some hood protectors uh roof protectors and rear uh bed protectors so once we get it all painted, um, I will look at, I'm printing those parts now, which is going to take several hours, and we will look at installing those on here, and then after that, we're going to look at putting some LED lights into the front, maybe down in here, in this area, not exactly sure yet. I'd like to put them on the front here and not have them attached to the body, unless I did like the underbody lights like I did on the Pirate and the Sentin. Uh, and maybe some lights in the back here so but yeah this is uh pretty cool i'm excited to have uh this i've kind of was looking at i'm going to get some measurements here because i'm pretty sure this body will fit on the sentin that we have down there and i may end up um, upgrading these wheels to do the 17 millimeter hex get some bigger tires on it and they do make a uh, kit or parts from uh, one of the other armas where you can extend out Hi, crazy cat. Uh, extend out the front wheels a little bit more and put some monster wheels on it. So stay tuned. I will be back here in a little bit. Um, I think the batteries I got coming are 6,000 milliamp hour, and I think they're ADC batteries. So, and I did buy another charger for up here. So I got something to play with up here uh, when I'm not down in sunny Florida. So stay tuned. Be back here in a minute. All right, guys, got this thing taped off, and let me tell you, that was a pain, taping over all these decals, but uh, save a few bucks uh, instead of replacing the decals. I think I'm just going to get a silver uh, Sharpie and do back over those because they were just like, too small to tape, but got everything taped up. I'm hoping that when I take the tape off, it doesn't take the decals off, so... I got a little more sanded to do, a couple spots, um, and then go over it again with some uh, just isopropyl alcohol and make sure it's all cleaned up 
and then I don't even think I'm gonna shoot a primer on it. So, but anyway, that's where we stand at the moment with the body. Um, the car is working just fine. I got um, these little adapters to go from a Dean's to a EC5, and got one of those in there. So I ran it around yesterday, and it appears to be running just fine. I programmed it. Uh, change the settings on it for the braking and the punch and all that good stuff. So we're good to go there. Everything appears to be operating. Um, I have wired in some lights. I got a little light in the front there, two little lights in the front, right there and right there. And place two little red lights in the back, one there, one there. So um, I need to order some little connectors. I mean, I can just uh, electrical tape these up for the time being. And I'm waiting for my little uh, adapters uh, to come in so I can plug in down here to the motor and put power to them. So uh, I'll probably just zip tie these up for the time being until. And I was uh, debating putting some lights here on this edge here to kind of light up the ground. Uh, you know, maybe just you know one on each side and then one on each side down there. So, but uh, yeah, she runs good. So, uh, you know, save me, uh, you know, 100 and, I don't know, 40, 50, 60, about 160 bucks or so versus buying one new and everything, uh, like I said, does appear to be working fine. So anyway, uh, I'm waiting for it to warm up a little bit and then I will finish cleaning this thing up and shoot some of the flat black on it. And then I will uh, give that a coat or two and then I'm going to let that set, and then I'm going to put some of the uh, matte clear on it. So we'll see how that turns out. So stay tuned. Be back here in a bit. All right. We are out of the paint booth, which consisted of that box <laughs> sitting outside. So yeah, it turned out okay. Uh, I wouldn't say it's spectacular, but it uh, I'm satisfied with it. So, and uh, no, the tape did not take off the decals, but the residue from the tape, which I still got to kind of work on, it uh, kind of gets everywhere. So, still got to get that off. Okay, now these are the parts I 3D printed. This is a hood guard. This is uh, roof sliders and rear sliders. You know, that way you don't tear up your bed or your truck so bad. Um, and that's how they have fitted underneath there. I got these, somebody was kind enough to make them, uh, and they were on Thingiverse. So if you have a 3D printer, just go out to Thingiverse and search for uh, Arma um, Big Rock. And uh, I'm going to get a red paint, paint pen, and I'm going to fill inside of these. That may be kind of tough, that little writing down there, but I'll try. Uh, and then fill these with uh, uh, bright red. So I think that would be a nice little accent. All right, so uh, next up is... Uh, We'll take it for a ride. So I got uh, the other battery in here and I just got these zip tied off for the time being. I'm waiting for the uh, pieces uh, so I can actually make the connectors for them. And then we'll be ready to ride. That goes on the outside, there we go. So yeah, it is a little bit dirty from me playing around with it in the driveway, uh, testing it. So, but it ain't gonna stay clean for long anyway. But anyway, uh, that is how that's looking. I like the uh, hood guard, and it that does get scraped up in the front, so that'll definitely help with that. But all right, stay tuned. Be back uh, with some driving around with it. All right, we're gonna turn this thing on. I got this on. Yep, that's on. And then turn this on. One thing I like about the Sentin is uh, you can actually reach up under there and turn it on without having to take the body off. Now, once once Rocket Dog hears this, he's he's going to go nuts. That's Bean. Never can find them little holes. Where are they? 
because you'd think they would put a uh, access port or something. So you turn it on a little easier. All right. Hopefully the GoPro is catching this. Don't get it, Bean. Well, it definitely turns better than the uh, Rocket DBX-10. We're going to watch out for Bean. He's ferocious. Well, I was hoping it would be a little more stable than the Sentin. But, eh, I may have just ran into something. He's interfering with the ramping. Uh-oh. Stuck. Ah. Oh. Got a mess of weeds under here, Bean. Some wild strawberries. Miss my ramp. Need to make me a proper ramp, like I got down in Florida. It's got the little curve on it, so get some air. Ooh, that was good. <laughs> Get it while it's down, Bean.
Whoops. <laughs> I need to check, bro. <laughs> there we go. I got it unstuck. Uh, I do have a very bumpy yard. Of course, I'll have to take this thing down to the road. Must have a setting off. There we go. That seems to be a little bit better. Get that right, Bean. See if I can get a good jump. Uh oh. I think the battery just came out of it. <clears throat> oh yeah, lost our battery guys. Well, let's uh, go see what is up with that. It's got Velcro. We'll set it on the operating table here. See what's up. Well, the uh, things are doing their job. <clears throat> huh, I'll be damned. I just got, I just got these things and it already snapped one. Well, I'll be darn. That's all right. Well, what the heck happened here? I don't see anything obvious. Unless, did that roller break? Looks like, no, it's just folded over on itself. Uh, let's try putting this back in here. They really need to make longer Velcro too for these things. Ah, it just came loose. No big deal. But uh, that is kind of why you want a hard case battery uh, for things like that. I mean, of course, it's grass. It ain't gonna hurt it none. But you know, had that been cement, you know, concrete, you know, blacktop, whatever, that thing would have been sliding down the road. Okay, I may have just, uh, whoa, let's turn it off. So I had this wrapped up under here and maybe I need to check my Velcro. I did that so the um, cable wouldn't be flopping around on the inside of it. All right, I think we're back in business. 
Nothing appears broke yet. <laughs> I'm not the gentlest on these things. to rig me up something if you can see what I'm doing here to fix my little broken clip I mean they're not that expensive a four pack of them is I don't know like four or five dollars on Amazon I do like them though because I know with the uh, pirate it just has the uh, little metal clips and how uh how hot he found that when it popped out is beyond me okay well they're definitely not coming out let's see if she still lives He's a diehard. He's a killer. Natural born killer of RC cars. Ain't that right, Bean? Of course, you've probably seen uh, Fat Chuck in there. He's, he's too lazy. All he wants to do is eat and sleep anymore. Come on, Bean. I gotta get you out of the way so I can ramp it. You better go get a drink, buddy. Ah, yeah, we're good. Okay, I've got the punch setting on this one uh, all the way up on high, which is also what I have on the Sentin down there, but that Sentin's got a 100C battery. Uh, I forget what the, what the C is on this one. I think it's a 50C. But that Sentinel, it'll shred the tires you see in that other video. All right, I think I'm gonna wrap this up. So, looks good. Paint turned out pretty decent. I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, get my uh, connectors for those lights on the inside and I'll get those uh, front and rear lights hooked up. And like I said, I may, I may put some down here but I don't know those LEDs I got aren't uh, the wiring is going to stick out quite a bit and I, I ain't a big fan of that so I'll have to figure out something else but anyway guys hey uh thanks for watching like I said I got this on uh Facebook marketplace pretty cheap uh, I think it was like 180 bucks uh, there was 300, 300 and something hey Bean Bean settle down buddy hey we're, we're trying to we're trying to do a video here man I know, I know, I'll turn it off here in a minute. He wants to just eat it alive. So, <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, these things are a blast. I'm gonna I'll take it down on the road. I may uh, shoot some video of that and see how it does on the pavement. So, uh, yeah, stay tuned. I think I'll do that. I may run it down here on the road here in a little bit and we'll see what it does. So, uh, back in a flash. All right. Uh, one thing you can do is uh, you can pull this open and stick your finger in there and kind of feel around for the on and off switch. And I know there's a joke there somewhere. And turn it on. So you do not need to take the body off. 
So I stand corrected on that. Whoa, watch out, Bean. Come on, Rocket. Let's see if we can ramp the steps here. And promptly run into the blueberry bush. Which is looking rather puny this year, I might say. Or I might add. Ran over one of my lights here. Oh, disturbed some ants. Ants are down in there. Come on, Bean. You're gonna have to get a handle on this, buddy. My LED light fell off. Oh, it's full of water. And I apologize if the, some of the videos of the jumps and stuff don't turn out right, but getting this GoPro adjusted on this hat is not the easiest thing in the world. So we're gonna see what it does. Come here, Bean. I don't want you to get splattered with rocks. Well, I managed to flip it over. Boy, this thing will definitely shoot rocks. So when you're in gravel, you ought to be wearing safety glasses. Come here, Bean. But it goes good in the gravel. Hey, we got a, hey, let's, we got some gravel over here. Let's climb it. Oh, that was no challenge whatsoever. What do you think, Bean? Hey, it just goes right over it. Of course, I could try to ramp it. Wait for Rocket Dog. Come here, Bean. I really need to put him up when I'm doing this. Uh-oh. I'm not steering to the <laughs> I'm not steering to the right. I wonder if I uh, got a rock wedged in there. Cuz it was steering to the right. Let's see here. I could have a rock lodged up in there. Hopefully you're seeing this. Cuz it ain't it ain't spinning at all. So let's Take the pins out. Oh yeah, we have a rock wedge, wedge down in there. Always carry a knife. How the hell did that rock get down in there? I was supposed to have that shield there to help uh, prevent that from happening. Oh well. At least, at least it ain't broke, right? Well, these things happen. And I never can find them damn holes. I need to make the holes bigger. That's right there. Of course, every time I go to put that on there, then it slides right off the other direction. Got it. Something's squeaking up there. Hopefully it's not a branch about to fall on my head. I know, Bean, you're, you're excited. two Baltimore Orioles today. They were fighting, playing, flirting with each other. I don't know, but uh, don't see a whole lot of Baltimore Orioles here in Indiana. I don't put out food in the feeders during the summer because there's plenty of stuff to eat, so... Okay, Bean, we're back in business, buddy. Now, give it a rest, man. Give it a rest, Bean. Bean, give it a rest. Oh, 
as you can see bean has a brain the size of a pea so he doesn't listen too well but he will love you to death he is the most lovey little dog He is a teacup schnauzer, if you're wondering what he is. Yeah, we had uh, rain for the past four days here, so it has been a swamp mess. I cut yesterday. Let it go, Bean. I hear a bike or something. Try to get you not into the sun. See how she does on pavement. All right, Bean. Hold on, buddy. Now run over my foot. See how she takes off. Well, the wheelie bar works. Gotta be careful. There is a creek over there. And the last thing I want to do is drive this thing into the creek. But let's see here. Well, we know we flipped. Let's see if our sliders are working. Oh yeah, we got some good... I'll be damned, it still scuffed the side of this thing. Ah, piece of crap. But the sliders are definitely working. Um, uh, hopefully the GoPro is showing this, but right here, scuffed up the roof. So I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to modify this design to come over the edge a little bit or make this even taller. But you know what? The, these things are gonna take a beating, you know, and if it helps, you know, then hey, that's great, man. We got a car coming. Car, come on, Bean. Come on, Bean. Come on, Bean. Need to take this up to the like the school parking lot so I can really rip on it. This thing gets with it, man. <laughs> All right, Bean, what do you think, buddy? This thing will shoot some rocks. Oh, let's go four-wheeling in the little div divot we got here. Ah, oh, handles that like it's nothing. Hey, there's Chuck. Uh-oh. Who knows what he's eating? He probably thinks the dirt up there is uh, food. See if we can scare him. Not much phases, Chuck. Been doing some weeding. Handles those rocks like it's nothing. Well, 
Well, the thing handles great. It's got a really good turning radius. I know with the um, uh, rocket, that thing, you get to moving this thing in this yard and it does not want to turn. So I may look at getting a different steering servo for it. And actually, I may look at seeing what motor the Pirate has in it and uh, e, uh, ESC and upgrade the uh, rocket because it is, I will do a video. Actually, I'm working on one now on that thing because uh, it's constantly breaking so but it is a turd uh compared to these it's still fun to drive it's just nowhere near as fast this thing however is a blast I love my scenting. I like the pirate too, don't get me wrong, but uh, that last video that I put out where I was in the sand, uh, remember when I hit the tree and I said, oh, pop that knuckle off. Well, I put that back on, which I showed in the video, but when uh, Hottie Mama got down there and went to play with it, the uh, driver's side was actually broke. Not the passenger side, but the driver's side. So I did find some on Amazon and she does have them down there. So uh, we'll see if she puts them on and gets it going again. But that thing is fun in the sand. I just, just yeah, I mean, these Chinese ones, really, I just wish they wouldn't break so damn easily. You know, and I pay for this stuff. These were not given to me as promos. Good jump. Um... You know, so this is my hard-earned money, you know, uh, paying for these things and paying for all the damn parts to fix them, which I understand these things do take quite a bit of abuse, and I get that, but, and I've watched, uh, ah, man, uh, Kevin uh, Talbert, uh, check out him and some of his, he does a ton of RC stuff, way more knowledgeable than I am, but I'll put a link to his YouTube and some of these i mean i thought i was bad on beating these things no nah, man that that guy they uh they put the some abuse on them things some of them don't fare too well but i mean i ain't kidding you i was watching a video the other day and if i can find it i'll uh, put a link to it they had to have these things jumping 30 30 40 feet in the air and then landing them the one guy must have hit a pole, man. He really, he really messed his up. So yeah, the uh, big rock is is fun, and it's quick. I don't know if it's. I I can't really judge because I do. Like I said, I have the uh, hundred C battery in the uh, Sentin. And man, that thing really, it has some serious balls. Uh, I do have, well, let's take it back into the lair here. Put it on the other operating table. And we'll see what this battery is. Yep, still working on that. Got more videos coming. Actually, I need to do an update video on this. Uh, yeah, extremely disappointed with Rattle Campaign. So uh, FYI, don't ever freaking use it. But this one has a problem going uh, from second to fourth. And of course, information on these things is, is, is impossible to find. So I'm gonna, I gotta pull this cover here back off, which means I gotta take the center stand off, shift lever, pull that out and see if there, there's gotta be a way you can adjust it because the Campus 60 right here which is a 60 cc that's an 80 the same exact engine and this one shifts fine so it's got to be some sort of adjustment that i am overlooking or just need to readjust so let me yeah I, i've still got you on the hat cam here so let's uh 
let's see here. This is a 3S. Uh, I'm getting here. Yeah, this is a 50, uh, uh, 3, 3S, 11.1 volt, 50C. And I'm pretty sure I have some uh, 60 or 80C, which, you know what, I'm, I'm really not opposed to less power uh, because these tires ain't cheap. But this is going to wrap this video up. This thing is cool. So if you're looking for a big rock or a Sentin, which they're pretty much the same thing. Uh, actually, I need to get some measurements on these posts here and uh, see if one of these bodies will fit onto the Sentin. I'm pretty sure it will. Uh, I don't know about the, the stance. I mean, the Sentin is wide. I don't know if it's as wide as this, but I know there's an upgrade you can do to this, and I think it's the... It ain't the granite, it's one of the other ones, but you can actually make this wheelbase even wider, which, you know, might be kind of cool. Um, yeah, my only concern is, is doing something like that. I mean, are you, are you gonna run the risk of damaging your front end components, your, your, your lower arms and stuff like that, you know, when you're hitting these bumps? And, you know, I don't know. I'm no RC expert, but these things are pretty cool. And I really like it and love the Sentin, love this thing. And for the price, I am not complaining. So, and you know, I took, I took all this out. Hopefully this is showing up. I took out the, uh, the motor back here, cleaned all that out, made sure everything was good and tight. And I uh, put some grease under there. Uh, here's your ESC right here. And I need to pop this open so I can put, I did get some of these connectors to they're uh, a different little adapter i'm telling you what guys these gopro 10s or as i jokingly say 10,000. uh this thing is on 1080p and it's overheating and it's i don't know it's about 78 degrees and it was breezy out so i don't know if it is this case or not but i'm gonna wrap this up uh i did get these little adapters here uh but i need to pin i need to put pins onto those right there so anyway before this thing dies on me again uh yeah which i need to get all the gopro about because supposedly that problem was fixed and uh no it ain't so and you've seen that in my floor okay i have no idea where it cut off i guess i'll find out when i put this together but uh took the battery out and yeah it's a bit on the warm side and um blew uh some air into it cool it down so anyway, uh, I will wrap this up. I should do a video on this GoPro. Actually, I'm gonna get a hold of GoPro because this is really pissing me off. These cameras are not cheap and you can't even use this thing when it's warm outside. It overheats constantly. So I don't, maybe I got a defective model. But anyway, uh, this thing is basically the same as the Sentin. Uh, pretty much, I think it's got the same motor, same ESC. Uh, it's the three, three, whatever, BLX three or something like that. You know, uh, 3S, uh, whatever. It says it on here somewhere. But anyway, uh, it's pretty cool, guys. So if you're wanting, if you're wanting a car, I definitely highly uh, recommend these things. And so far, so good. And I think the body turned out, you know, pretty decent. It's going to get banged up anyway, as you can see. The scratches here when I uh, flipped it over. This does help, but, you know, it, it, it's going to get banged up so uh but you can see i don't know if, don't know if it'll show on the video here this thing here is really really scraped up i mean it's rough and this one is here too so the nice thing about it is is I got a 3d printer i'll just print more and uh they just you know they just bolt in from the bottom there which i showed earlier so pretty straightforward but it does keep your body from getting a whole lot of damage on it so anyway guys i'm gonna wrap this up so hope you enjoyed it and if uh i do any upgrades to this thing or anything i do to it then i will definitely uh put a video out on it uh this one is uh another work in progress so this is the rocket dbx 10 so i've got a video i'm mostly done with um i'm going to add some stuff because i got some suspension or replacement parts for the front end you know these 
metal things here to keep the uh, cheap plastic ones from losing screws. So anyway, guys, if you like this, hit that like button, uh, subscribe. And uh, like I said, I pay for all this stuff, so I, I don't get no endorsements from anybody on this. And this is just my opinion of, of these cars and, and you know your, your money's worth because these things are not cheap. My scent was 330 I think 329 339 something like that and this one brand new the big rock is about is the same price um that dbx 10 right now is 200 and i want to say 79 dollars on banggood uh but by the time you uh buy replacement parts which you better buy when you buy that thing you're in the same price range as one of these so just food for thought you know yes i know these things break and they will break but that thing there, I ain't kidding you, is broke just driving it in the grass, not ramping it, not doing anything. And it's, it's just constantly been something with it. And the Pirate, as you've seen in those videos, same issues. So you know, better plan on buying parts for them because they're going to break sooner, much, much sooner than later. Whereas hopefully, and I know the Sentinel is the case. Uh, and hopefully this big rock is too. Uh, they will break later than they do sooner. I mean, obviously you smack a tree at 40 miles an hour, it's gonna do some damage. But hey, anyway, I'm rambling on. Hope you guys got something out of this and had some fun uh, watching the rocket dog chase this thing around. So um, catch you on the next video. See you guys.